What's going on? Welcome to the garage. Here are all the kids' bikes down here on the ground. And over there, we have the 1190 all torn apart with some of my favorite tires out there. Pretty awesome. So, you see the forks are off. Got a little bit of a problem over there. I'll show you what that's looking like here in just a second. Let me get the camera positioned. Uh-oh, what's happening? Looks like we are thinking. YouTube is thinking, guys. All right. So let's take a look and see what we've got here. Reconnect. All right, looks like we just lost all that. So welcome to the garage, guys. In the beginning here, I showed you the kids' bikes. We got some Stasics over there. So many two-wheeled vehicles here in the garage. It's pretty crazy. Anyway, right now I'm going to take you on a quick little walkthrough. I've got four, three of my favorite tires down here on the ground. Get this camera to help out here. There we go. Uh-oh. Lost it. There we go. All right. So down here we got the Crew 4. We got the AX41. And we have the Rally Tire. Now what I'm going to do really quick is this is a little kit I carry with me. It's got Band-Aids because I always jack myself up. Tire pressure gauge. Then, of course, my two favorite tools. I've got my tire tread depth gauge. Looks like this right here. And I've got my durometer reader. Woohoo! So the interesting thing is I took this Karoo 4 and pushed down on it. The carcass on this thing is super, super hard. And the compound feels harder than these other ones. But uh, we've got the durometer and we're going to take a look right now what we have in real life. Oh, wow. So we have about 78 on the durometer reading on this thing. That's super, super hard. Here, oh, the AX41 is showing right around 74 tonight. It's a little bit chilly here in the garage. Motaz Rally Tire is showing about 74 as well. So this guy's definitely a harder compound than the other two. You can see it has a pretty similar um, profile to that of the AX41. And the Motaz Rally Tire is a bit flatter when it comes to that. Let's take a look at tread depth real quick. Karoo 4, we're looking at uh, whoo, 8 30 seconds or 7 millimeters. And that is shallower than the AX41 that comes in at 11 30 seconds or 8 millimeters. Is that 8 or 9? Let me look. 9 millimeters. And then the Motaz Rally Tire. This is why the Motaz lasts so long. We're looking at whew, 18, 30 seconds, or actually 19, 30 seconds. 19, 30 seconds or 15 millimeters on the Rally Tire. It's absolutely huge. What I'm seeing here is I'm seeing some really, I mean, it looks really similar. It's actually, let's flip this AX41 around or the Crew 4. Let's flip this guy around. So our tread patterns are going the same direction. I'm pretty amazed at how similar these two tires are. Now, the one thing I'm going to say about the Crew 4 versus this AX41 that I like a lot is the fact that this block right here is, is right in the way of this groove. So the groove here on the AX41 goes all the way across. Now, they do have a block that kind of sits... Um, offset a little bit but it's still a solid block that goes all the way through whereas this Metzler tire it's gonna the, the mud or it's gonna stop here if you're trying to side heel and you're gonna get more traction here on the side potentially than you would get here on the AX41. Now, again I'm blown away at how similar the tread pattern to the Crew 4 is to the AX41. And then the Motaz tire here you can see that we have very similar side lugs here to the AX41. We've got open channels that go all the way through instead of having that block. But Messer says this is a patented design that they did to capture mud in order to be able to allow this tire to have better traction. Um, you can see that down the center here we have a, a solid groove that goes all the way down through the center of the tire. I find that interesting. There's no other tire out there in the market currently that has that type of setup. Um, when it comes to... I should have brought the scale out. I didn't do that. Next time, I'm going to follow up with a uh, uh, measurement on the scale. Yeah. Karoo 4, AX41, Motaz Rally Tire. Three of the most predominant 
tires out there at the moment. The newest, the most anticipated, probably the best performing next to say the um, uh, Anarchy Wild is another really, really good performing tire. And then the Motaz because it lasts so long. And then, uh, yeah, let me grab the camera real quick. What's up, guys? Thanks for tuning in. Really appreciate it. And then this over here is the Motaz Rally tire with 7,000 miles on it. And that tube type front tire that I put on, it's getting there, but it still has quite a bit of wear left. Anyway, forks going into the shop. And then these here, the AX41. Let's do that real quick. Let me pull this front tire over. So here are these three front tires, respectively. Oh, there goes the forks. All right, so we've got the Motaz Rally tire here on the end. We've got the Crew 4 here in the center. And then the AX41 over here on the side. Now, something that the Rally tire and the AX41 both do is they put a solid block and then a split block. Well, not a split block, but a solid and then a larger, solid, larger. This goes solid, solid, but it has a smaller than a larger block. That gives it much more stability than that of the rally tire that a lot of people really don't like on the highway neither do i um that's why i'm running the new dual venture tire that we see over here um but yeah messler continued the same exact tread pattern front and rear which is something we really haven't seen a whole lot of recently um let me pull that rear tire over now get these guys out of the way give me a rear tire Ditch you guys bring this guy over and we can see that the tread pattern or profile on this crew four is almost identical front tire to rear tire just a little bit smaller in profile pretty nuts anyway lots of action going on here forks going into the shop can you get the bike dialed in and then of course the comparison between all these tires will be coming up shortly Thanks for tuning in, guys. Really appreciate all of you guys. And yeah, welcome to the garage. Great hanging out with you here this evening. And uh, we'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.